Hello, this is Campbell Tutorial and today I'm going to share with you how to verify user register from email and user login with the Windows Form application. So I'm going to create a new project and choosing uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 and name the project as Register Form. Hit the gray button. So I'm going to drop the tab control. The first tab is for login and the second tab for sign up. So I'm going to write down in the button register but before I do that, we are going to create a new class for connect to the database. So I am naming it as a data access and create a private property for return the connection, actual connection. So my sample database is named sample register. So I am going to create a login for checking login and return the login status. And login status I am going to create as an enum for return the status like a login success or not verify or something like that. So click on that and click on generate class. But I'm going to change the class into the enum. Okay, we locate it in the same directory. So rename it into enum. Not exists, I mean that when login, it doesn't have an email that going to log. And it verify, I mean that register, but it's not yet verified. And incorrect for the user or password is incorrect. And okay, it's, it means that it exists in, in a database and it's correctly verified. And also here, I'm and we will show how to encrypt a password instead of storing your raw password into the database. So first I'm going to select the email and the password. If this correctly, I'm going to return the status. So I'm add a parameter with the value. So here I just put the password first, but next I'm going to uh, create a method that returns the 64 string. Put a raw password and we need key, main key and encryption key. I'm going to put it in a global variable in a private because we're going to use that key in the next method. You can download the source code in the description and link it down below. You can check it later. So I'm storing variable or hash and call the method that I'm just created, put the password in there. So I'm going to put the hash into the password field. So in here we're going to check the condition. So I'm going to check the code. It means that code is for uh, in a database field. If it exists, it means that user register but it's not yet verified. So I'm going to return it as the login status, not yet verified. It means that if email exists, we will return its data. It's okay. It means that user and password is correctly other condition we just return it incorrect it means that uh, it doesn't have an email match password so next we're going to create a new method is for sign up we need an email and password so we just uh, call the previous method that we just created for check login and get the data from the check login to verify that the email it already exists or need to verify or something like that so we're going to check that if it does not exist it's okay so we're going to do in the next statement for sign up i'm going to create hash and code for demonstrate i have on the integer number
So here we're going to create a new class for email register that I'm going to create that. Just hover on there and click the generate class, a new file. Let's go on it. We're going to implement the email register. So first we're going to create an object SMTP client. Then we're going to init the host part and, and network security. For Gmail in here, I'm going to put a Gmail and port. And here we use a network credential. It means that we have to create a new email address for sending to other. You can create a dummy email or something. This email is just a sending from our application to other user. So I just put in here the email I'm going to send to the user. And put your password, password email. So I'm going to write a mental send or send an email. Send a body, I mean body, I mean a text, text that you're going to send to the user. Then you can put the subject for sending to the user and the body. And next we're going to send it. So here is just a property that we set to write the body with the HTML element. Or you can use body if you prefer to send it on the text, simple raw text. Okay, so we're done on the class email register. So next we're going to send it. Somebody and just put the code that we generated from the random class and to the email that we just registered. Okay, code is just it's a string, body string. So I just add with the empty string to convert it to string and here and return true or false we write in the button register so the first we're going to check the register password and register confirm password is match or not just return the sample message So I put the data access called the data access in the global and in its in constructor. Now let's test it. Okay, go into for condition and register. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to open my email. Now it's sending to my email. If you can send an email address from this application, you have to enable a low less secure app. When I turn on that. So now we're going to create a method for the verify code in the data access class. And here we're going to pass the agreement, the email password and the code that we're going to verify. Okay, we check the status login if not yet verify or be verify we have to return false so far I'm going to select code from the database So now we're going to execute a Scalia to get the code, verify it if equally, update the table, table user to the null code. Create in the other form, window form, for importing a verify code. Okay, I'm going to drop about one button and that's about. So I'm doing in the button OK, click. So when I click it, I'm going to verify code by putting in email, password and code. In here, I'm going to put as in property with that we're going to set up set a value from the register form okay but 
We not yet do it, just put it here and I'm going to generate the property. And here we put property, email and password. Okay, now we're going to do a uh, register form button. We call the form that we have currently created. Set the email here and the password. So if the dialog result is okay, it means that we do it successful. I mean that we verify it done. I'm going to show the message. In here in the database and then I have created okay I have a field ID email password and code so now I'm going to run the application to paste that register button okay let's check the email address now it's saying it to my email so I'll copy that go back to the form and open the verify form and pass the code in here it okay okay it's done successfully verify i'm going to uh, implement it in the sign up panel so now we log in we just call the currently method that i have created I have login status so we log in done it will show the message that you have logged in And you can find the source code in the link down below i have a put in, in the description and thank you for watching this video and you want me to create a such video don't forget hit subscribe and ring the bell and see you in the next video